My name is Philip Peter McCullough. Last year I, f I uh, completed a, an iMedia course um, at the Well Centre through People's Voice Media. Um, that was for 12 weeks. Um, it was broken into three sections and it was uh, put together to take um, users who um, have achieved basic computer uh, knowledge and, uh, um, but who sort of are still looking to be introduced to the concept of maybe blogging and um, connecting and, uh, with people around the world in networking and I also at the same time was uh, studying at the Manchester College on a uh, interactive media level three um, because I completed the level one and two the year before that. The I media course was, was level one because um, a few did say to me, but you're doing a level three interactive media. But the thing was that the interactive uh, media wasn't, um, it didn't focus on everything. There's a lot of things the iMedia uh, course was going to focus on. Um, so I'd, I'd, the Photoshop had done that with, with Manchester College, so I just followed that through with, with the iMedia course. Um, but the video editing was sort of putting together a video that was more sort of um, community based and sort of learning how to put together something that was community based, based instead of something that had uh, a storyline that, for example being in the horror genre uh, or something like that instead. Um, and also the, the shopping on the internet, while I had previous experience uh, of sort of um, looking after uh, um, stationary uh, whenever I was at, uh, working for the city council, um, it's since then sort of everything's moved off a peg and everything is on the internet so even I needed to sort of to learn quite a few things there that I didn't know about previously. So it was all very beneficial, it covered quite a few areas that probably I hadn't done in at the Manchester College so they just ended up complementing each other quite well. About a month ago I, I met uh, a friend I've not seen for years and it was introduced to uh, the new partner um, and Whenever I explained sort of what I just finished at uh, uh, college and what I was hoping to do in the future, um, he showed an interest um, to the point where I was actually able to, I ended up having to give him the information on the same course I was doing last year, so he was quite interested in that. Um, what we're also possibly doing is the, the uh, Manchester College uh, course that I was on last year and the class that I had, a few of us have sort of decided to sort of stay together for a bit longer. And what we're hoping to do is to create our own little sort of videos along the way, little short things, um, sometimes quite experimental, trying to sort of like work out how things are shot and how they're done. I'm also involved with the community reporters uh, at um, Victoria House, um, which I've been involved with for some time because it's a different kind of shooting things. It, it's um, you're shooting things that are sort of from a more sort of community based but more sort of factual. I did actually, I was responsible for throwing in the deep end of the very first piece we did which was um, you know making a short movie that was meant to be sort of Halloween sort of things which is meant to be just sort of standalone but um, it turns out actually that's given them the confidence to do more imaginative pieces than just they don't seem to want to just report on things they want to do something more creative with it as well so it was a good thing uh, it sort of showed them sort of um, how intense some things could be um, but then when if it came to try and take them back to the beginning and showing them the basics it's like well you don't want to do the basics we, we want to do something else so um, and I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, it it's interesting sort of to see how they are and where sort of I was at that stage um, three years ago two years ago whatever it was um, but I mean, I'm, I'm still enjoying it and it, it's a big challenge for me to sort of to take a back seat as well and relinquish that control. You should always be trying to, um, to progress to the next level and to better yourself. Uh, I think one of my favourite quotes is that knowledge is power. Um, power can be very corruptible but this is a good power, that's a very positive one. So um, I, I always relish the, ch the chances of to learn something. And if I find myself in a situation where I realise I'm not learning something anymore and just, you know, going around like a hamster in a wheel, um, I really do start to lose interest and start to look for something else. Whenever I was a kid, um, I was unfortunately in one of those families where 
you, you know, you don't have your own opinion, you don't have your own thoughts, you're, you're sort of, you're told what to think and you're told what to say and, uh, and I sort of remember sort of going through school and really, really trying, but because I didn't know how to ask questions, because I was a very introverted um, and very shy and I wouldn't ask questions, um, I didn't always get things right. I mean, hardly got things, I was always a, a very average graded student. Whereas last year, sort of the previous two years, uh, the, the college course I've been on, I got distinctions the whole way through. Um, but I think it's because as I've got older, I've had built a bit more confidence up and I've actually started asking questions and I'm a bit more confident to branch out my own and sort of researching things. I think sort of one of my big st strengths is that I will research something very in depth on the internet. So uh, that's a big bonus for the internet. Um, but also that can be a bit of a, uh, a negative thing because some people sort of see me as researching too much. And then I'll come in, I'll be all enthusiastic about, you know, the most trivial little thing. Um, but uh, I think it's a good thing to sort of t to be that enthusiastic about what you research. Well, I'm hoping to uh, get a place at university next year. Um, and I'm looking into branching more into the uh, TV and film production. Um, with the course that I've been on, I was looking at uh, branching in sort of the post-production and sort of uh, just the video editing and putting it all together at, at that end. But during that course, we were introduced to the production side and I really preferred it because you get a chance to be more creative. You, you've got a, a fresh canvas. Whenever you're editing something that somebody else has shot, you're watching it and you're thinking, that camera work should have been better, should have been better framed this way, should have had different lighting. Um, and I'm not sure that I really like the idea of having to work along somebody else's flaws. I'd rather make my own flaws. Um, but, you know, hopefully it's not about that. But then learning is about making mistakes first. So.